It is a chilly morning here in beautiful Wyoming. And I pulled out of Rapid City this morning and I decided to take the advice of a of a good friend, Jim Millard of Art Hartville, Ohio, who's a well-traveled man himself. And he said, where are you at? And I said, Rapid City. And he said, where are you headed? And I said, I'm going to Cody. And he said, Wyoming? And I said, yeah. And he said, boy, he said, you really got to see the Devil's Tower. And I said, really, is it along the way? And he said, just off Interstate 90. So I decided to take Jim's advice and we got off 90 about 15 minutes ago. It's about 28 miles off the, off the highway or the interstate, I should say. And uh, coming down this stretch of highway here, I looked off in the distance and I don't know if you can see it or not, but boy, it just rises right out of the ground there, Devil's Tower. And uh, we're gonna go to Devil's Tower Monument uh, national monument and bring you along i hope the visitor center's open it's a sunday morning and this should be really really something to see we are but half a mile from the entrance to the devil's tower national monument and uh look at that really fascinating to see it looks like a looks like a prehistoric tree stump or something like that just rising up out of the ground all right let's go and uh hopefully the visitor center is open we have made it into the park and as usual first stop is the the visitor center before going up and taking a look at the devil's tower and there are no shortage of people here the entrance to the park, from the entrance to the park up here to the visitor center. It's about a mile or so on a little bit of a windy road and it has uh, some beautiful views of the monument as you're coming up. And it's a rather small visitor center. So we'll go in and take a peek before walking up to the walking up to the tower all right so there's a little bit of a wait to get into the visitor center but uh let's take a look no. yeah. little stuffed animals you can buy there you go. It's a nice little cabin. Mm. Not too much information in here. Seems to be more of a gift store than anything else. The bear climbing the Devil's Tower. Yeah, yeah nice. Wyoming is a Wyoming is a really nice state. Come over here into the into the gift store. Here's some little green catchers that you can you can buy. Oh, I'm gonna have to get one of these for my camper. Yeah, there you go. Gotta have one of these for the for the camper. Fantastic. Alright. Okay, let's go check out the Go check out the tower. Maybe I'll get this one instead. Okay, let's go see the uh, let's see the tower. Well, here we go, and as we begin the uh, the trail, that'll probably take us up to a spot to get some nice pictures. There is information for 
individuals that want to climb Devil's Tower. That's right, climb Devil's Tower. And uh, they have, uh, it's kind of hard to believe, but um, they actually have individuals that'll come and climb up this tower, believe it or not. So we're gonna walk along the trail here and see if we can't find a spot to get a nice, uh, nice picture or two. It really is an impressive, impressive rock, mountain, whatever you wanna call it. Look at that, it just seems to come out of nowhere. Wow. Well, there's at least two trails to choose from. And we decided to do the Tower Trail, which is a little bit over a mile around the base of the trail, or the, the monument there. And there's a sign that says, do not disturb prayer bundles and prayer cloths. And climbing above Boulder Field requires registration. Look at this. Wow. That really is something. Well worth the well worth the trip. And here are the prayer bundles, prayer cloths. I'm sure they have a story in them by themselves. Look at this. Wow. That's something. They're all through the trees here. Look at that. Very nice. All right, let's continue on the trail. Look at the view just further up the trail. That really is a sight to see. Wow. Just mammoth. And here's the, here's the trail walking along. I actually saw some deer off in the off in the trees as we were walking up. And look at these large large boulders that are here. Really something. Oh I can't imagine climbing that. Just incredible. really is something else and the weather is absolutely beautiful a little bit overcast and gray but still the same the temperature is probably in the low to mid 60s i think we're at an elevation of about 4200 feet above sea level look at that view right there incredible just a little bit further ahead you see that the uh, they're doing some revegetation here boy that is an impressive <laughs> impressive I don't know what to call it rock how did the tower form, in case you were wondering? The process began about 50 million years ago. Magma, molten rock, was injected into layers of sedimentary rock, forming the tower one and a half miles below the Earth's surface. It has since taken millions of years to erode away the surrounding sedimentary rock to expose the tower we see today. Geologists agree the tower is a 
igneous hardened magma intrusion but have three different interpretations of the tower's original size and shape because of erosion erosion we may never know which interpretation interpretation is correct wow it really is a beautiful area once you start getting out west the east coast may be all well and good but you start to get out west and you lose the humidity and it's just at least throughout the late spring into the mid-autumn months just absolutely beautiful weather warm during the day and cool in the evening here's some more information about the buried tower ancient rivers took millions of years to excavate devil's tower the water carried away softer sedimentary rocks leaving behind the harder igneous rock called phonolite this rock type is found here in northeastern wyoming and central montana but mostly in east africa All right, if only for the sake of brevity, I'm going to end the video of Devers, Devil's Tower right here at this beautiful vantage point. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. This is Cattleman's Heaven, or so the sign says. What a gorgeous view. The area near Devil's Tower in the Bell Forge River Valley was once home to vast bison herds. As they were hunted near to extinction, the bison's habitat changed to ranch lands. Cowboy drove the wild cattle of West Texas and New Mexico into this region. Those who were not discouraged by the extreme winters flourished in the area. Cattle ranching continues to be a primary industry here. Look at that view. Just gorgeous. Wow. Really, really beautiful.